No, definitely. Uh, um, I mean, with UNDP, we're working very actively with the Secretary General and the whole UN system in uh, pursuing a more coordinated, targeted approach um, to countries to advocate for boldness in terms of the enhancement of their NDCs ahead of the 2020 deadline. And part of this advocacy, and along with it, is also uh, complemented by the technical and financial support uh, we provide in terms of both raising the ambition and being able to implement the NDCs. But also thinking about how to, for example, operationalization of NDCs for adaptation, one of the key uh, projects and programs and initiatives we support at UNDP with the government with the global environment uh, facility funding as well as uh, BMU working with partners like UN Environment and FAO is our support to countries around uh, adaptation planning so this this support over the last few years we've supported over 65 countries in being able to take stock taking do deep dive risk assessments to really prioritize adaptation actions and plan for investments um, and so this mainstreaming of adaptation into policy planning budgeting um, over the 65 countries is really, again, something that contributes to operationalizations of NDCs for adaptation. For instance, for mitigation, there's over 250 projects. Uh, over a billion dollars of grants have been channeled uh, to climate action on the ground. Um, also crowding in co-financing, leveraging other public and private sector finance, uh, using de-risking strategies to really crowd in private sector finance in terms of mitigation as well. And in particular, the action translates to focusing on uh, aff affordable access to uh, clean energy, uh, low carbon and efficient um, transport and, and buildings and also really climate finance in terms of NAMAS, for example, and other market-based instruments. And so the action on the ground that UNDP supports for adaptation focuses across you know, vulnerable food and agricultural systems and, and remaking them more resilient. Um, you know, thinking about integrated water resource management in light of the climate change risks and impacts on the water security issues, um, ecosystem-based adaptation and nature-based solutions, um, also really promoting resilient livelihoods across sectors, again with the idea that in terms of reducing vulnerability and increasing the resilience of these populations, you're also enhancing the um, uh, you know, sustainable and uh, car carbon neutral and low uh, low carbon but also resilient uh, development for the population.